okay in today's video i just wanted to come in very quickly and do a six month update on my louis vuitton sarah wallet and monogram so if you would like to see this please stay tuned okay so just a little background i did purchase this six months ago actually let me try to remember the date um i got it before december actually it's more than six months old i got this before i finished my master's program in december so it's probably about eight months old eight or nine and it's still in really great condition um so i just wanted to go ahead and do a little wear and tear video because i know some people with the sarah wallet have had some issues so starting off with my button i don't know if i can get too close there but there are no scratches on it no peeling chipping fading nothing um the button is in perfect condition let me also say that while i do not use this every day i do use it most days the only time i don't use this wallet is if i'm using my clay or another smaller bag but generally if i'm using a wallet this is what i'll be using um i also don't see any signs of my glazing on the side cracking um I don't know if you consider this a crack no not really so I don't, also I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you close enough because I don't think I can zoom in but there's no um, cracking issues with the glazing so that is held up nicely um, in the inside of the wallet I do have it hot stamped with some of my initials there um this one i got this when they stopped putting where it was made in so i'm not even sure how to tell but this one just says louis vuitton paris actually looking at the date code i'm pretty sure this one was made in the united states um i'm not sure i think the date code is back here yes this was made in the united states because it says sd and i know that's a code for the united states so this one was not made in paris but i'm really not particular about that um also i noticed some people noticing that some of the hardware in louis vuitton is more bright and some is more dull that is true my inside zipper pocket right here i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it this is um dull in comparison to the shiny brass on the outside and the snaps in the inside so if you do have some reservations if you've maybe seen some um, Louis Vuitton online or pre-loved and people are trying to sell them and you're thinking it's not authentic I will say that some of their hardware now is um, it's not it's it's not considered matte to me but it is definitely less shiny than the other um, fixtures the zipper is still very smooth and shiny. I haven't had any problems there. I also haven't had any problems with these slots right here stretching out. Um, they are also in very good conditions. But then again, I don't double my card spaces up. This wallet has space for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. And you also have these little... Um, random spots right here so you can put 10 plus cards but i did notice that for a while my wallet was starting to get very big and bulky which is why i got this item this is my henry bendel mind your business card case and before i got this i was keeping all my loyalty cards in my wallet but that was making my wallet too bulky and i was concerned about you know it just getting stretched out so i do keep my loyalty cards in here um one because it's cute and it's also functional i also don't have any marks or anything on my canvas it still looks very very new um so for this wallet to be eight or nine months old it's in rather perfect condition this isn't stretched out i know one concern i had when looking at the sarah wallet was whether or not these flaps um, tend to stay up from opening like that but one thing I do to try to combat that is I open it with the front button right there so that the pressure is near the button and so that these sides don't tend to curl up I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could say let's see the inside where my change is kept that still 
I don't know if you can see it, but that's still in very good condition. Um, my change has made no marks. Um, so overall, I've been very, very happy with this wallet. I was very hesitant to purchase it because I got, um, I'm not even sure how much it was when I got it, but I know it was very expensive and for the price I could have saved up uh, three or four more hundred dollars and gotten a bag, but I really wanted a nice wallet that I could carry for a decade and I truly think that I will be able to. This wallet is very well made and for it almost being a year old, I can't find any imperfections in it. One little gripe I do have is that where I bought it, and I bought this from the Louis Vuitton boutique in Garden City Mall, no, <laughs> in Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City, New York. And they didn't give me a um, pull-out drawer box when I bought it, but that's fine because I have plenty of other Louis Vuitton boxes that I can put this in. But I really do love this wallet, so I would say if you're thinking about getting a wallet, I would really recommend the Stara. The one thing that sold me on this wallet is the fact that when you open it, you have access to four cards right here. So I like the security of it in that you don't have to go in your entire wallet and if people are standing behind you in line, they don't have to see all your business. You can just simply open it and access your four most used cards, which is what I use these top slots for. So that was the main reason why I liked it. Um, I know there are lots of other wallets that are nicer, like the Zippy, but for some reason, zip around wallets with me, I don't like how you open it like an accordion and you have to flip it over. Like if you if it zips open and this is it, you have to like flip it around to see the other cards. That just, I'm really lazy and simple, so um, I wanted to get something that would be easy to use. Also, one thing I must mention, um, I don't know if this bothers anybody else. I haven't seen anybody else talk about it, but it really bothers me. And you can actually see it. If you look closely, that's my zipper pull sticking out. It actually sticks out from the side. Um, sometimes if you're not careful when you're closing the wallet, it'll try to close it while the zipper is pressed against the back. And when it closes, I'll show you. It looks like that. And it kind of makes this side of the wallet bigger. I don't really know if you get what I'm saying, but I like my zipper to lie flat horizontally. So when I'm closing my wallet, I always make sure it's either like this or it's sticking out this way. But that's just a little OCD thing with me. See, like just right now when I closed it, it's facing the back of the wallet and it's going to be a struggle a little bit to close it. So... That's my little gripe about the design, but other than that, I'm really, really, really loving this wallet, and I can, in fact, say overall it is worth the money. Um, it's a great investment piece, and I like that I have it hot stamped, so eventually one day down the line, if I have a daughter or something, I can pass it on to her, and it will be that much more special, but... I really, 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 really love this piece, so if you're thinking of a wallet, I would definitely say you should um, maybe go into the store and see if the Sarah wallet fits your knees. I do know that they have wallets, I think, with more card spaces, but like I said, I have my Henry Bindle card case, so that's really not an issue for me. So I think that's all I have to say. This video is far too long. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know down below if you have any comments or questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!